This video is brought to you by Squarespace. In the latest chapter of One Punch Man, we got this beautiful colored picture by the artist himself, Murata, showing us God, the monster God, standing over Homeless Emperor. And we also got this imagery of the God being crawling out from the dark side of the moon, standing on top of the moon, and it's just a sight to see. The size of this guy, he's literally bigger than the moon, which makes a lot of sense because the other time that we saw him, Saitama and Flashy Flash and them were peeking in at him through this tiny little hole in space, and he appeared to be insanely massive. However, this begs the question, are these two gods the same, or is there two different monster gods in the One Punch Man universe. Now we're talking about end of the series type content here. It's very evident that the God being is the final boss of One Punch Man, but we're getting some very different imagery here. One where it appears that God is the earth, which is interesting because I've actually made an entire theory that God is essentially mother earth and is the being that is granting humans their powers, the being that is making your thoughts manifest themselves into reality in the One Punch Man universe. Think episode one with the crab man, he ate too much crab and he turned into one. Think Saitama, he wanted to become a great hero and he trained so hard that he basically just became invincible. This monsterification appears to be coming from God itself or from planet Earth, maybe to wipe out the population. So why is Murata showing us God in the form of Mother Nature or Mother Earth but also in the form of the moon. When Psychos tapped into the power of God and visualized it, she was looking up at the moon, which had these rippling effects in them, which is the same texture that the monster God has. And why is that God up in the moon able to communicate with Psychos and Homeless Emperor, but the other one that Blast is actively chasing after can only communicate through the dark cubes? What do the dark cubes have to do with anything if God can simply reveal himself to any villain he chooses and grant them power whenever he wants? Or is he able to grant power whenever he wants? Maybe it's something like he's only able to grant power when it's a full moon. Why does God need a sacrifice as shown from the Saitama vs. Orochi redraw? Did this God being awaken when Saitama got hit into the moon by Boros? If so, then why would God even need a sacrifice unless that's a completely separate God? There very well may be two gods. They may be some sort of twins, perhaps Blast imprisoned one, and the other one is maybe imprisoned inside the moon, waiting for the right time to burst out. We could have this crazy asteroid battle where Saitama's jumping around on asteroids out in space, fighting this moon-sized god. That could be the end of the series, and that would actually be unbelievably awesome. So it seems like Murata wants to give us more and more hints about the monster god, way more than we got in the webcomic. They're really starting to slowly build up the lore and the feats of this character, the monster god, preparing us for this final battle, which is also linked to Blast. Now, when Saitama first stumbled upon the Black Cube and picked it up, the monster god spoke to him, and that's when Blast arrived. Blast was happy that he got there early, and he said, you haven't taken the deal yet, have you? So what is this deal? Is it the same deal that he gave the Homeless Emperor? I'll grant you power if you just become a villain. But what is the point of him even granting power to anyone? What is God's goal and motive? It appears that by granting power to people, it potentially is helping him to escape his prison or free himself from wherever he is. Perhaps he needs to grant his power to as many people as possible, reach some sort of number before he'll be freed, because it appears that he wants to give people power. I mean, when Saitama picked up the cube, he was trying to give them the deal that he will grant them tremendous power and Blast showed up to interrupt it. So it seems like Blast knows that like, hey, don't take this deal. If he gets too many deals signed with humans, then he'll be free and that will be a complete disaster. But that doesn't make too much sense if it's only one God because he was able to freely grant power to both psychos and Homeless Emperor. Now, a very, very important piece of information here. If we go back to the chapter where Zombie Man fights Homeless Emperor and Zombie Man wants to know the secret of Homeless Emperor's power. He tells him very well and it goes into a flashback where he gets falsely fired from his job and he leaves to wander the earth. And he says something very interesting here. He reflects on Earth itself. And this also ties into the whole theory that God is actually Earth itself. Like Earth has become sentient 
and is giving people powers in order to wipe out humanity. And now this previous chapter from Zombie Man vs. Homeless Emperor is making so much more sense because of this earthly image of God we just saw. Very, very important pieces of information coming up right after this. Now, when starting Demon Rush, I knew I needed a website, but I have absolutely no idea how to make a website. One of the skills I never actually learned. But that's why our sponsor for today, Squarespace, came in so clutch. Using Squarespace, I was able to quickly and easily create my own website to host the Demon Rush manga. I'm gonna use it to host the manga as well as the other big projects that are coming out along with the manga later on in December of this year. You can create a website to post your art, create an online store. I really like how easy it is to just manipulate all the pages you can create and even put a video in the background. They also have all these templates that you can just choose from and it pretty much just gets you 80% through the process like that. I also like how clean and easy it is to navigate around the platform. They definitely make it user friendly and even a novice like me was able to create a website in a day. You can get a free trial right now by going to squarespace.com or if you want a discount, you can go to my link at squarespace.com slash mastart and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So if you're interested in creating a website, click that link in the description down below and get started with Squarespace. But he says this, the land is bigger than any building and the sky brighter than any artificial light, which is also important because we have a God deep in the earth and we have a God up in the sky. So this quote back here from this chapter is playing true to what is happening currently in the One Punch Man manga, speaking of below the earth and up in the sky. He also says, human beings are insignificant compared to the planet surrounding them. There's that word planet. My home was the earth. There's the word earth more spacious than any mansion. He also says only by returning to nature would I achieve true coexistence with mother earth. And then God appears right before him. So to me, this is very clear evidence, especially now with Murata's new drawing of the monster God appearing to be mother earth, that God is actually earth itself or the earth itself has been monsterified and created this kind of earth monster God. Coexistence with mother earth and then he gets the power of God. And then God says, you know what you should do with that power. And Homeless Emperor replies, I know the solution. Foolish humans are a plague upon the earth, so I will destroy their civilization and their very existence. This is the earth becoming sentient and granting people powers that share the same goal, to wipe out humanity. It's as if it, the earth is trying to purge itself from humanity, and this is its way of doing so. Another perfect example is in the opening of chapter one, Saitama vs. Vaccine Man. Vaccine Man says, Due to all the pollution caused on Earth, the Earth is a single living organism. You humans are nothing but a disease causing bacteria, eating away at her life force. In order to obliterate humans and their evil civilization, the Earth has given birth to me. And there you have it, guys. I mean, in my opinion, no further evidence is needed. So the only real question remains is, is it truly Earth trying to purge humans because of all the pollution and destruction of planet Earth? Or has the Earth become monsterified itself? Or is this some sort of foreign invader that fused with the Earth or something like that? It's obvious that God is Earth, or at least one of the gods is Earth. But what about the other one? What about the whole sacrificial ritual and all of the writings and hieroglyphics deep down in Earth that were found after Saitama destroyed Orochi? That Orochi would be a sacrifice in order to resurrect God. Does Earth have a God and Moon also has a God? Is, is both the Earth and the Moon monsterified and they're working together perhaps to purge the Earth of humans? So there's a lot of questions still, but I think it's pretty evident here from the evidence presented that one of the gods is Earth. And that God is trying to purge humanity by granting people powers like Vaccine Man and Homeless Emperor in order to wipe out the plague of humanity. Now the second god appears to be far more ancient. Super ancient hieroglyphics written on the walls deep down in earth, these cubes that open up a dimensional portal in order to communicate with him. What is the motive of that god? Well that's what we don't know yet. So Homeless Emperor says to himself, ah, my home is the earth, I want to give myself to the earth, and boom, god appears and says, here. While one god appears to be locked up above in the moon, Another one appears to be locked down below as Saitama and Flashy Flash were way down deep under the earth before that portal opened. So is Murata signifying that this is like the heavenly god and the hell god? 
Is there one up above and one below? Is one evil and one good? I mean, it looks pretty clear that they're both evil, but I feel like there has to be two because one can freely grant power and one needs the cubes in order to communicate with you. What if the god from the moon is the one who created the cubes and this other god is not friendly. And so the moon god used the cubes in order to seal his rival. So maybe they aren't gods, they're just some aliens from way out in the universe somewhere. Maybe their entire life goal is to just take over planets, and maybe they both want this planet, and one of the gods sealed the other one away. So perhaps you could have some god versus god battle later on in the road as well. Before we get into getting any more information about God, I believe we have to learn more about Blast, and that very well may come within the next few chapters of Murata's vision of the One Punch Man manga, because Blast took Saitama and Flashy Flash away somewhere, and he's going to eventually return them to the battlefield. Hopefully we get to see some more Blast as he returns them. Maybe he gives us a quick blurb about God. I think Murata knows, I think he's very self-aware how much fans are excited about this ultimate villain. And they're also excited about Blast and his connection to the God. So as Blast drops Saitama and Flashy Flash off back on the battlefield as they're about to fight against Monster Garo, he may give them some information about God before he get ups and leaves again through one of his black holes. But if not, we're probably going to have to wait through the entirety of the next arc before we get any information about God. Now we got a lot of extra information about God in this arc, thanks to Murata, because in the one webcomic, it was only a quick blurb for Homeless Emperor. A couple quick pictures showing how this God creature granted Homeless Emperor power and not much any more explanation than that. And that could have been interpreted as Homeless Emperor just being crazy or hallucinating, but now here in the manga, it's completely evident that this creature exists and that it's going to be the final boss of One Punch Man. It's all built Building up to this, so while one hasn't given us any more information about God in the webcomic, we could potentially get more sprinkles of information here in the manga as it comes out. And that's important because any little tidbit of information that we get about God helps further define these theories about what's going to happen in the end of One Punch Man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give me your theories, and I'll see you soon for some more One Punch Man videos.